dad to clean out the garage, so he enlisted me to help while he supervises. You want to know a secret? It's kind of cool, because garages are like Alibaba's cave. You never know what kind of treasures you'll find. Ah! Oh! How you doing, Pearly? Not so good, to tell you the tooth. Well, thanks for filling me in. Arr! Ha-ha! Ooh, 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 ooh! Uh, gotta work up to that. Hey, what's this? Secret journal. Hmm, this looks interesting. How to survive a boring class. Mm. How's the cleaning going? Uh, it's all good. I'm, uh, not finding anything interesting. Okay, I'll just keep supervising. You do that. Best ways to trick your teacher. Hmm, me likey. Most stuff that your parents tell you, you know already. So true. The most important things in life you have to discover by yourself. I hear ya. Make older siblings dependent on you through tricks. Now we're talking! The journal says to trick a sibling, first take a treasured possession from them and hide it. Have you seen my phone? Your phone? No, I haven't. Ugh, I can't find it. I swear it was just in my room. I'll give you a call. Listen for the ring. Huh, it went straight to voicemail. Must be dead or off. Ugh, I'm exhausted. It could be anywhere. I'll happily help you. If I find it, you can do my chores for a week. Whatever. Just find it. <laughs> Found it! Ooh, thanks. Where was it? In the bathroom. It was the logical place to look. Huh, I thought I looked there. <clears throat> In my, uh, chores for the week? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Whoa! Whoever wrote this journal is a freaking genius! <laughs> There's some clever ideas in here. I know! Who's the author? That, I don't know. Maybe my grandfather? Whoever it was, they were probably about my age when they wrote it. Let me see that book. Fake cleaning your room? Sneaking out after being grounded? Convincing your parents to buy you a pet? Ha! <laughs> These tricks will never work. They're ancient. One of them worked on Elena, dude. She's doing my chores for a week. I don't know. You're not supposed to read other people's journals. You'll go blind or something. Eh, I'll take my chances. Ahem. As it seems that none of you were paying attention yesterday, pop quiz! Oh, Pencils out, and answer the questions on the board. Yo, Sherwood, observe the power of the journal. Don't do it, man. You'll just get in trouble. This I gotta see. Uh, Mr. Foot, I'm sorry, but I need to see the nurse. Hmm, why is that, Angelo? It's a personal problem. I'd rather not talk about it here. Mm. Very well. You're dismissed. Papa say what? Ha <laughs> ha! The journal works! Now I have a free hour! a half-decent dessert. Oh, gracias, my dudes and dudettes. I'm going to circle back for seconds. Dude, that will never work. Schmitty has a one dessert per kid rule. That's not what the journal says. Sup, broski. I see you've already got a full tray. And you know the Schmitzter's rule. No seconds. Oh, it's okay. Because they said it was okay. Huh. If they said it was okay, then who am I to argue? Here you go, little dude. What journal is witchcraft? Too much time.
like staring at screens and not enough time devoted to your body. It makes you lazy and soft like man made of pudding. <gasps> man, this blows. What happened to playing basketball? Coach Zanka found it too soft. Too bad your journal doesn't have a suggestion for this. Ooh, but it does. Follow my lead. Hey, are we up to something? I don't know yet. Keep going. Three, jump, five, jump, five, jump, seven, check, seven, jump, seven, check. Seven, 25 more minutes. Jump, I check, just, jump, ow. check. Ow! Huh? Ow! What happened to you? I think I've twisted my ankle. Or maybe it's broken. Or shattered. Uh, go to nurse. Okay. I'll try to be brave. Keep going! Jump, jack, jump, jack, jump, oh, jump! My ankle! Coach Zonka, I, I think I twisted my ankle! You too? Uh, okay, go see nurse. Uh. Ow, ow, ow! Um, Coach Zonka, I shattered my ankle too! What is happening? You all have weak ankles? Maybe I am pushing you too hard. No, no, I am not! Keep jump and jacking! You, go to nurse! You believe in the power of the journal now? Yes, I do. Can I borrow that when you're done? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Another journal classic. You put the good sugary cereal in the yucky healthy cereal box, and no one's the wiser. Wow, you're eating the gluten-free organic stuff your mom buys. Mm. Good job. Mm. Ah, I'm loving it. It's filled with fiber, too. Really gets things moving down there. <laughs> Don't tell your mom, but you know, I find it tastes a little too, mm, how shall I say this, woodsy. Ah. Don't even think about it. But I love fiber. I know you switched the boxes. Huh, didn't see that coming. It's my night to do the dishes, but the journal has a solution for that. The author had a dog, so I had to improvise. Uh, just a bit more on the right there. Oh, you missed a spot. I think the journal may be my mom's. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's? <laughs> Your mom is so mom-like and by the book? Can't be possible. But she keeps busting me. Well, what do we really know about our moms? Maybe when Angelo's mom was young, she was a troublemaker like Angelo. One way to find out. Only the journal's true author would know the next masterpiece. Step one, get a note. Mom, could you uh, sign this note? What's it about? It lets me stay after school to work with Mr. Foote for extra credit. Hmm, okay. Good for you, Angelo. The actual note she signed excuses me from school. A bit underhanded, but journal approved. Step two, the ruse. Why aren't you ready for school? Canceled. Mr. Foot is diverticulitis. Oh. Okay. Have a good day. Step three, carpe diem. That means seize the day in some dead language. school. Ah, oh, heaven. Hey, ain't you supposed to be in school now? Good of you to notice. But no, today I'm out doing community service. Hmm, that's good. The journal has an answer for everything. Diverticulitis? School note? Angelo? Explain. 
mine! You read my journal, Angelo. Ha! I knew it was yours! When I tried out the diverticulitis trick on my mom, it didn't work. I was grounded. Grandma grounded you? For a month. For a month? For a month, and I deserved it. But mom, this journal is a work of art. You have my total respect. Mm, you are not to use this book again, ever. Promise? Promise. Uncross your fingers. Remember, I know every trick in the book. And no take back seas. Yes, ma'am. And hand over the backup copy you made of the journal. What? How'd you know? I'm your mother. I know everything. Angelo has diverticulitis. Good evening. This is a cookie. Sweet. Harmless, right? Wrong. You are about to witness a cautionary tale unlike any you've ever seen. For what was once sweet can turn so sour. Our story begins last Tuesday. Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! Peter! <laughs> Mom and Dad are going to flip if they see you jumping on the couch. <laughs> Do a flip, you say? Uh, I didn't say anything close to that. Ooh, nice. Check it. I'm going to backflip off the... What in the world of Ira? Boys, what are you doing? Dad, if I've said it once, I've said it, well, once. We need a trampoline. Hmm, but trampolines can be dangerous. Uh, so can crossing the street, even if you have the light. Well, then go do that. It's free fun. Do you ever listen to what you say? Huh? What'd I say? What do you say? What were we talking about? We need a trampoline. Right, we do. Well, I do happen to have a hundred bucks in Peter's college account. I'd rather have a trampoline. Then let's do it. Why, hello, Tracy. I see it's the season for Scout cookies. Yes, sir. Two dollars a box, but since you're a favored customer, I'm willing to offer you ten boxes for only twenty. Ooh, I love negotiating. How much if I take twenty boxes? Hmm, I need to check with my manager. Okay. Mr. Foot, Angelo's dad wants twenty boxes. <laughs> uh-huh. What? Really? I can go forty. Sweet! Then I suppose you'd be willing to haggle for fifty boxes? Fifty? Gee, I don't know. Who wants scout cookies? Oh my gosh, what did you do? Swung a killer deal, that's what. Dad, we'll never eat all these before they go stale. Also, I can barely stand to ask, but how much did you pay for these? Um, a hundred bucks. No way. I know, but I was in the zone. Negotiating, wheeling and dealing, haggling. I was a big shot for once. Does this mean no trampoline? No, it does not. Angelo's rule of optimism. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When life gives you cookies, make cookie-aid. Cookies! Get your cookies! Gah! The cookies are melting! Angelo's second rule of optimism. If life doesn't give you lemons, grab a bunch from the fridge. Give me that. Mmm, tart, refreshing, cool, and something unusual I've never tasted in lemonade before. Real lemon juice? That's it. Give me two more. Yeah. <laughs> Four dollars, please. Move it. Hey. Two dollars a glass? Hmm. Well, I do happen to have a hundred dollars. I'll take... None. <laughs> Times two, count it five. <gasps> At this rate, we'll have enough money to buy that trampoline in no time. Money, you say? Want to get that sour lemon taste out of your mouth? Try Tracy's homemade cookies. Homemade? Really? These are just your dumb scout cookies made in a factory. Yeah, only thing a factory is home to is rats. Oh, good one, love. Get back to your own stand, lemon squeezers. Cookies! I've got customers. Customers who know class. 
Boogers. Yeah. <laughs> You're just opening up a store to spite me. It's a spite store. Welcome to the cutthroat world of big business, Angelo. Big business? It's a couple of street stands run by kids. You're crazy, Flickinger. You hear me? Crazy! Come on, Angelo. Two can play at this game. Two are playing at this game. It's just a game to her. Hmm. What is just a game? Tracy's Chemical Crud cookies out of your mouth! Don't be a sour puss. Sweeten up your day with a cookie! Have a healthy salad for a change. Come try Geezer Caesars! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! More food carts? Do you believe me now? This isn't a game. This is a battle for the survival of the fittest, man! Listen to our man! We have to change with the times! This just got real, brah! Time to power up! Bruh. Okay, okay. Stop spinning me. What do you have on Geezer Caesar? Curated basil scented chicken? Artisanal salmon fries? Bespoke walnuts? Like totally all of the above. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Johnny Gotta Have It's here. Just to check out the new overpriced salad. Johnny Gotta Have It's gotta have it. So it's expensive fads they want, eh? Well, boy, lemonade, please. Ooh, sorry, AJ. We don't have <laughs> lemonade anymore. All we have is lemon-infused citrus beverage. <laughs> lemon-infused? Wow, that sounds fancy. Gotta have that. One cookie for the Schmitzter, little lady. Oh, we don't have uh, cookies. Uh, just artisanal hand-cut sweet biscuits. Bruh, do you have anything overly priced with a whimsical name? Psh. We wouldn't be artisanal if we didn't. Citrus pucker punch, lemon bellow, sour to the people, yeah. Give me one each. Enjoy. What? Tastes a lot like normal lemonade. Uh, this isn't a sweet biscuit. It's a regular old scout cookie. <sighs> this place is a rip. And we need to cash in. Come bathe yourself in flavor. A delight to the eye and the taste buds. All made from Earth's goodness. Are your cupcakes made with organic flour, uh, milled with a piece of Himalayan granite? Would you know if they want? Oh, but probably not. Then yes, they are. I'll take a dozen. Welcome to Schmitty City, home of fancy flavored popcorn. Hi, yeah. I'll take one bag of taffy flavored popcorn, please. Um, hum, 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 right here. And no, we didn't just buy frozen ones at the supermarket and put our name on them. As far as you know. Boy, some are don't. We don't care. Hmm, now that you don't want me to buy it, I kind of want it more. I'll take two. Oh, eh, whatever. <gasps> Look at all these food carts. Amazing. The economy of our block is now greater than some countries. How is this possible? Uh, what's up with your dad? <laughs> he got the trampoline. Finally, we can be done with all of this. Dad, oh. you uh. are oh. jumping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a trampoline, Angelo. You were right. This works just great. <laughs> Oh. Ow! Never mind. We're back in business. Uh, I don't know about that. What happened? <sighs> People stopped buying. There ain't no customers no more. Why? Ugh. Everyone went out and bought their own food carts. What the what? Why the why? <laughs> Thanks much, Bleeb. West side. Uh, hey! That's not cool! Oh, why not, Sherm? You took advantage of everyone! No, we didn't. Food carts became cool, so we sold everyone a food cart. And we just gave the people what they really wanted! The latest trial! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta admit, they're right. They got us. Hey, you started all this, Tracy. No, I didn't. You did. Yeah, but you're the one that started a spite store. A spite store! I blame Geezer. No ho ho! Schmitty's the one to blame! What about Kathy? And Angelo? Uh, uh, no, 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 no! I am hey, not! Hey, 
My friends, we are not each other's enemy. We are one people, and we have suffered too long. Like, for a whole afternoon. Now, who will fight with me for vengeance and a trampoline? Yeah! <laughs> vengeance will be mine! Vengeance is my favorite fruit. Let's do it. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like see when they realized all their customers left them? <laughs> yeah. They were all, oh, well, now what do we do? <laughs> they can take away our trampolines, but they can't take away our lemonade! Rugs, cartoony bag of money's weighing us down. Truth. Cookies can lead to disaster. What about a trampoline? That's what caused the cookie problem in the first place. Yeah, it did. And falling for fads. Uh, that just exacerbated the problem. Wow, there are a lot of lessons in this story. One message is clear, though. Don't jump on your parents' couch when your bed is way better. <laughs> Angelo, don't jump on the bed! <laughs>